All right, time to prepare the set. Let's go. This video is about time, so let's not waste time and jump right into it. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Redmark and I'm your effectiveness coach. If you want to become more effective, subscribe to this channel for two videos a week. And if you want to get even more engaged, become a patron. You can become a patron for $1 a month and you will get access to our community, which is an application, a web application that I keep expanding and evolving and has a ton of features. So check that out. Do you ever time yourself? In this video, I will give you a demonstration of how powerful this tool can be. I gave myself the challenge of completing this video in exactly two hours. Since I'm a programmer, I wrote myself a little script that tells me exactly what to do and when. If you want to do something similar at home, just write down your schedule and use a timer. So let's get started. Okay, time to get started. Here you see my empty script. Here you see my time. And here I start it right now. Write script. Okay, go, go, go. Timing yourself can be a very powerful tool, but it can backfire. Here are two criteria for when to use it. First, look at your mental state. Are you in what I would call underwater or above water? In a sense, are you overwhelmed or underwhelmed? If you are underwater, I wouldn't recommend this because this will just put on more pressure. But if you feel in control and you want to challenge yourself a bit, then do that. Just challenge yourself and try to do things under a time constraint. Look at it this way. Imagine that you have a certain expectation, which is how high your bar is, how much you challenge yourself. On the other hand, you have your actual skill, your actual capacity to do the thing. And everything that's below this line, where your skill matches or exceeds your expectations, is the area of boredom. But then on the other side, if your expectations are too high, you overwhelm yourself. And then there's that sweet spot that is where you challenge yourself just a little bit above your skill level. And that's the level of optimal challenge. And so timing yourself is something that you can use when you are right at the line of boredom and you want to challenge yourself a bit. Another question that you should ask yourself is how much is your task procedurized? How much do you know your task? In big words, are you in order or in chaos? Are you in the known or in the unknown? Because this is perhaps one of the most powerful concepts I know, which is that there are two completely different ways of being depending on the situation in which you are. Nassim Taleb would call them anti-fragile versus fragile strategies. If you are in the unknown, in a chaotic environment, what you want to do is use anti-fragile strategies. You want to explore, you want to experiment, you want to take advantage of random events, and if you are in the known, then what you want to do is optimize. But you need to be sure that you are in the known and that there is nothing that will uh, interfere. Think about it this way, right? If you are off-road, you want uh, these monster truck cars. And if you are in a race, then you want to optimize every little detail of the car. So it really depends on your environment, if it's a chaotic environment or a very like predictable environment. For example, for me, the process of making a video has been optimized and revised and refined for more than half a year, almost a year. So I know more or less what to expect, which is why I'm now challenging myself to do it under time constraints. If you are in the unknown, don't optimize. Experiment, open the space, explore. Basically, you should be the gatherer. And then when you know what your target is and it's clear and there is nothing else you should care about, then yes, become the hunter and focus and put all your energy into achieving that one thing. And if you are in hunting mode, then all the behavioral tricks like timing yourself, like incentivizing yourself with rewards and uh, accountability and all those little behavioral things work. Not when you are in this other mode where you actually have to orient yourself and find a direction. Did I mention that you can become a patron supporter? This would mean a lot to me. Right now with this amount of supporters, every little dollar makes a huge difference for me because it really shows me that what I'm doing is valuable. And since patrons have access to my community app and I keep thinking about ways to add features to it and improving it, here's an idea for a feature that is relevant to timing yourself. So what about a system that allows you to basically define your own schedules and time them and then play them with some kind of headset that tells you now do this, now do this, now do that and you can adapt them over time. 
So for example, there's a lot of talk of morning routines, first to that, first to coffee, then exercise, whatever. Imagine that you could program this yourself and then in the morning you just plug in your ear set and, and do it. Like Tim Ferriss says, routines are nothing but recipes. If you want to achieve the same result, you have to follow the same procedure. Think about it and let me know in the comments. And time is over and I have to stop. I'll be back with another video next week. Subscribe. Ah, I forgot completely that I need to do the drawings. Okay, next. Let's go on. Time for the editing part. I need to hurry up because I don't know how long it will take.